I'm going to start naming them by level so that those of you who don't want to watch for the commentary can actually be a little benefit for me. You're welcome. Okay, so hit the switch here, and whoever your partner is will hit it. Get her, get her one. Um, yeah, your partner there, you see on top is another character, usually it's your partner. Um, what that means is if you insert another controller and press start, um, player two will get to play as him, and you'll get to play two player. No, it's not a cheat. Two player is a natural mode this game had, and this game is known because it has some of the best co-op there is, next to Halo. Basically, everyone likes this game's co-op because there's no split screen. And if you know what split screen is like, you'll know how it sucks. But yeah, you can do co-op in this game. It's really cool. And I'm not going to say co-op is necessarily the funnest thing in this game. Basically, because if a character tries to go one way and the other tries to go the other way, um, it won't let you. They fixed that in the later games, because you can now um, uh, do a split screen if they do go too far, but back then they were trying to avoid doing split screens, they didn't want to, and the result was um, they had to go the same way, which kind of sucked, and it kind of ruined the co-op feeling. The idea of co-op is that you can get two, knock out two birds with one stone, whereas in this game it was just two people fight faster. That's basically it. I mean, if you get so far, the screen might grow a little bit, but eventually it'll just stop growing and then you'll just be stuck, kinda. Um, I will do LPs for some of the other games later, but not necessarily now, because they're all on, like, 360, and currently that thing is not working, so... So any, like, Xbox Live friends out there, you now know. Yeah. Here, if I do battle droid, battle droid. Those there are droid because um, if you played, or if, I do, if you if you're a big Star Wars fan, you'll know what those are. Um, they're they're also called destroyer droids, and I don't have another droid name, but I can't remember what those are. But I prefer to call them droid because it's easier to remember. This sign sounds cool. You gotta hear the destroyer droids, droidicas, and it's, there's another name for them, I know. But, uh, I can't remember what it is, so. But basically, what they do is they can roll, and when they're not rolling, they have a shield. Um, if you double jump and attack, you can break the shield in one hit, which, whereas it'll take like six hits to naturally break it. They have like nine health, pretty much. Um, they're not that bad of enemies. I mean, they, they appear frequently, but they aren't annoying or anything. The only thing I really have wrong with this game is how, ta how slow the attacks are. Like, it takes forever to swing your lightsaber, which is kind of stupid. But it was the first game, so I'm not going to argue with anything. This was their first try at this, so... Yeah, they did do a good job for their first try. It wasn't a good job, but it was their first try, so I did have to admit it was a pretty good job for a start. It wasn't fast enough, darn it. Okay, if you aren't fast enough and it goes away without you, don't be alarmed. Um, you can still get up there. Watch. You know, get up there now, and it goes again. A lot of people just jump off and give up. They're, that's not how it works. They think you have to do it with a faster character, it's not true. But if you do want to do it with a faster character, it looks just grievous. He is pretty fast, but the thing is, he's the most expensive character in the game because he carries four lightsabers, which is a pretty fast attack. Yeah, the more weapons the character has, the faster they can attack, so... I think you should know that, you know. And they all attack the same, generally. You either shoot or swing your lightsaber, but... And it's always third person, so... There's no real difference, but... They put a lot of work into this for... A little third person key game. So let's open this door up. That's his special power, by the way. Protocol droids can open protocol drawers. Or doors. Drawers. As you can see, this is facing there. They can access protocol locks. And there's also astromic locks, which mean astromic droids, aka um, R4P17 or R2D2. Um, C3PO and TC14 are both protocols. 
Anyone who's played the series, played the, or played known Star Wars will know that. TC14, I think, is the only character you unlock here. You have the first two already for those playing two player. Now, now you can re enter this level in free play, though the only difference will be that you can turn into TC early pretty much. Free play is pretty useless right now. Um, free play won't be useful until about. I'm assuming. You have enough characters. You'll have to have at least half the character list and one of every power before you can start free play mode. And usually you've completed story mode by the time you're ready, so. We're gonna go back to Dexter's Diner. We're not exactly dumb with all the characters you unlock from this level. Though you don't actually unlock any characters, this level is known to have some of the most viables available. Jeez, oh, I hope YouTube uploads this. I think YouTube does, yeah, YouTube, YouTube does allow 20 minute videos now, don't they? If they're short enough, if they're small enough and compact enough, you can uh, upload a 20 minute. I'll just be sure to do that, because, um, Premier Elements is known to let you do that kind of thing. So let's get our new characters in here. So let me describe everyone here. Gonk Droid, useless, he's very slow, but never attacked, and I think he has very strong health, too. We take a lot to hurt him, but... Um, the PK droid. Oh yeah, Gonk droid, if you know, is, if you don't, are big fans of the trash can droid. Um, PK droid is, again, pretty useless. All he can do is walk around. It's those little, uh, things you saw walking around back in the last level. Um, battle droid security is the red battle droid. Battle droid and commander is the yellow battle droid. And then you get the droidica. The droidica, if you play as him, does have the shield, but you move very slowly if you use the shield. Um... There's bonus things you can use. I'm not going to show any of those yet. I'm not ready. Well, there's one we can show. Or not. Hints. Let's finish that up real quick. It doesn't take much to buy all these out of there. And so there you have it. That was our first episode. A long one, but a start. And that's about it. I was just showing off how you get past the first level, pretty much. That was nowhere near, nowhere near amateur. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. I'm wasting enough time already. We already got 18 minutes of recording done. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna have to make it a 10 minute episode, I guess. I can do that. Thanks for watching. Whoa, that's a full rainbow all the way. Double rainbow, oh my god. Double rainbow, it's a double rainbow all the way. Damn. It's a double rainbow all the way down Oh my god What does this mean? It's so bright, so vivid Double rainbow, double rainbow It's so dense, dense